everybody, Golden Guy here, and I'm here with a very awesome episode. It's Golden Guy 330, and this is how to fly flying vehicles in Unturned 3. Okay, guys, so this is a really special episode here. Uh, first of all, Unturned has had a really, a really impressive update for Unturned. Um, first, the main update is they added a bunch of new vehicles. Now, right now, in the uh, older Unturned, we have. You know, the occasional car, pickup truck, the Humvee, the occasional fire truck. But now, we have much more. We have planes, helicopters, speedboats, jet skis, is even a water plane, guys. This is really impressive. And when I say we have this stuff, we, I mean as the entire Unturned community as a whole, all the players of Unturned. We have everything now, guys. All the vehicles. It's really cool. So in this video, I'm going to be showing and trying to teach you guys how to fly and actually spawn in these vehicles. Now, to make things a lot easier, instead of having to search around the map for every individual vehicle, I'm going to spawn them in, show you how to spawn them in, and then show you how to fly them. Uh, now, a good place to take off in Washington map, which is where I am right now, is right here next to the Kent Raceway. Uh, here is the large Vidal, I mean, <laughs> Vidal, village Seattle. Just follow the road down, and here it is, next to Raceway. Gonna go up the road like that, above the little island in the middle, Rainbridge Island. It's a nice island, I guess. Stack of cars, but this is, this is awesome update, guys. I can't wait to show you. So, um, I'm not gonna be showing you how to actually ride the boats and stuff. That is actually a fairly easy ride. The hard stuff is getting hang of the flying vehicles. I had... Uh, stored enough time for myself to get used to it in PEI and Washington, where I am now. It's gonna be awesome, guys. I really cannot wait here. So, here we go. Now, to spawn in, say, the plane. Or the main plane. There's two planes. Regular plane and water plane. But the main plane <laughs> is the... It's called the Sandpiper. But you don't type that in for the spawning. So, what you wanna do is you wanna press Enter, or whatever your unturned chat button may be. Then you type in... At... The letter, or not letter, but whatever that is, at, symbol at. Then you type in a vehicle. Let's see if I can spell it right here. Yeah, vehicle. And then type in whatever your name is for unturned. Mine, it would be Golden Guy. Big surprise there. Uh, no spaces in between the name and what's coming next, which would be a slash, and the ID number of whatever vehicle you want. For the plane, that would be 92 here, then another slash after that. I've memorized. Playing, uh, doing this a lot by now, I've memorized a good set of uh, codes and IDs. So, you want, if you, okay, how to put this? Wherever you want, you want your plane facing, wherever you want your plane facing, you gotta point your perspective that direction like I am now. So you press enter once you got that down, and whoop, plane at your service. Now look at this, guys, this this is awesome for Unturned, some drivable, usable, freaking plane in Unturned. <laughs> this is awesome. Alright, before I start, uh, well, no, I'll save that for later, never mind. You'll, you'll see, you'll see, don't skip to the end of the video. Alright, now comes the tutorial with the plane, the Sandpiper. So when you get in, start stuff here. Yep, cool sounds and everything. Probably have to turn down the sounds, actually, it's kind of loud my headset but what's in you want to press the W key if you're using Wazi you should be for this game I and mean, come on or arrows I think no no just Wazi yeah uh, so when you press it it moves your plane forwards obviously but you want to hold on to the W key even while in flights the entire time it could be a little annoying for some people I don't mind so it's not that bad so once you uh, before I take off I actually want to no, no, I'll take off and explain it. There. So when you go forwards, you gotta use your mouse a lot in this, guys. You turn left and right, you use uh, S and D, you know, WASD thing. When we lift off, move, keep rubbing your mouse upwards. And you're in the air. Just keep moving your mouse upwards on your little mouse pad or whatever you use. You know, be in the air. Like I am now, here is Seattle. With the Seattle Space Needle. So like I said, S to move left and D to move right, so just turn. But careful guys, this is really tricky with the mouse here. If you want to go up, you move your mouse up on your pad. If you want to go down, move your mouse down. That's simple, right? But very tricky. You can do barrel rolls, right? But you got to move 
your mouse to the side to do barrel rolls, but sometimes it's really hard to get your bearings and moving it back to where it is. It looks really easy right now, but trust me, it's not that easy. Until you get used to it, it's decently difficult. So, a lot of times you gotta improvise and do some sideways things to avoid a tree or something, which I like to do a lot, actually. It's kind of fun. Let's see here. See what I can... No, 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 hey, stop it, stop it, ow, ouch, that didn't work, well, uh, I was stuck in chat, just so you know, guys, that, uh, all the way over in Seattle, I was stuck in chat, so I couldn't really do anything about it, save myself next to there, the crane, but hey, whatever, um, let me spawn that in one more time, I had that, copied so I can paste it in the box there anyway the more you do it the easier it is to get the plane into the air and moving come on up 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 there we go but it's really cool although you, you can't actually do anything with the plane except keep it moving forwards when you're in the third person perspective mode here see me flying in the plane it can't turn or anything oh no, no no I can turn I just can't use a mouse to move it up or down that can be very tough when you're in third person mode but yes this is the sandpiper very impressive now for the uh touchdown landing guys whoop the barrel accidentally so move your mouse uh, okay hold on sorry i need a better road not a better road just a better example so when you're going you want to land move your mouse down but take your hand take your finger off the w key so you go slower Make sure you're not doing any barrel rolls. Once you get close to the ground, hold S to make yourself go even slower. And maybe a little bumpy, but you will land if you do it right. Right here, guys. Sandpiper. Awesome, right? Duh. In the chat. Duh. DH there. Duh. Anyway. And that is the sandpiper, how to fly the sandpiper. Uh, if anybody has problems and needs more help on this, I will upload a video with far more detail. If anybody has the will to comment if they can't get it exactly right after, well, like 10 to 20 minutes. I mean, it's not excruciatingly hard, but it's decent. Now, on to the helicopter. Whoa! <laughs> oh, my word. What are the chances Sandpiper happened to spawn here as well? That's funny. And, oh, the runway. Okay. Okay. Yes, when you, whenever you spawn one in, it's with 100% fuel, but mostly the planes and stuff have low fuel when you find them, which is very, uh, kind of unfortunate. So you want to carry on gas around you all the time if you want to find these vehicles legitimately. I mean, if you if you want to do a legitimate survival world, guys, don't do any of these codings, because that's not legitimate. I'm just doing this for the sake of the video and efficiency for this episode, I guess, of Unturned. So this isn't a normal Unturned video, however. But if you're doing a legitimate survival, don't do not do these codes for I need side item where this vehicle helped me so much. I'll get so far. Don't do it. Don't do it. I will find you. <laughs> no, I won't. Don't know who's watching my channel half the time. Anyway. Um, that's a sandpiper, guys. Now to spawn in the helicopter. So, as before, type in the at symbol. Then a vehicle. Whoops. Okay, there we go. can never type that word fast. Then your username, no spaces, slash, and I believe one of the helicopters is 93, just one above 92, the sandpiper, and the slash, and boom, yep, here comes a military grade helicopter, really cool guys, this is actually very impressive, I don't know which I like more, the plane or the helicopter, I like flying the plane better, but the helicopter would be so much more fun in multiplayer, because, first of all, you can drive it, and everything, yeah, cool, right? But you can also go into the side seat and the sides of the helicopter. It's it's awesome, guys. If you had a like full helicopter of four people, you can be like destroying everyone on some PvP map, just shooting out of the windows, out of the sides. With, uh, what, what what was it called? I don't know what it was called, but some giant machine gun on this game. It's really cool, guys. This is would be awesome for multiplayer on this helicopter. I really want to try it out and possibly upload that as well. Like helicopter wars, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if I have enough people for that. Or at least mess around and killing zombies or other people on a map. Either way, guys, it's really cool. Anyway, on to flying the helicopter. 
when you're in. I, same thing with a plane, you can't move your perspective left and right to look at the windows when you're flying. Uh, cause... Well, that's used to turn the thing. Uh, with a helicopter, you don't go forwards. Like, it doesn't have wheels, so you can't go forwards on the road like a plane with W. When you hold W, it makes the wings speed up here. And you start to lift off. Now, the helicopter is actually pretty tricky, but you gotta use, uh... I don't know what is what this is like physics and gravity. But when you're holding the W key, the same thing with turning the right, uh, right and left. But when you're holding W key, you want to turn downwards, and it'll make you go forwards. It is very, uh, very kind of difficult here, guys. But you will get the hang of it. You don't have to look straight down; just kind of tilted, and you will eventually get the hang of it. Didn't take me as long to get the hang of this one uh, than the plane. Because you just gotta tilt down to move forwards, and there's not as much uh, difficulty here. But you can still do barrel rolls with this thing, have, pull off some awesome tricks. Oh wow, well, looks like I'm gonna crash so hard. But no! Whoops, wrong button, that's a map. Here we go. Uh, these are fairly difficult to fly. But look down to go forwards. Kinda weird. And look up to go backwards. Never very comfortable to do, but it works. Oh, can I save myself here? Oh, barely! That was close. <laughs> My word, okay. But this is really cool, guys. I love how uh, Nelson added this into the game, the creative of the game, obviously. But, oh, so cool. Just flying and everything. Uh, if I get into a more detailed thing with uh, these vehicles, I'll do tricks like flying a plane under the bridge there. No, you know, actually, I'll probably do that with a water plane, which will be shown after this helicopter. And when you want to land, the landing's tough. So hold on to the S key to slow down the fan of the helicopter. You'll really start dropping. But, uh, you gotta kind of time it. Oh, uh, hold on. I'm gonna land in the water here. Just gotta speed up a little bit more. Go forwards. Then hold the S key. And land. This isn't a helipad, but it's something. Bam! And there is your landing. Awesome, right? <laughs> Uh, I love this so much. Anyway, uh, yeah, that is your helicopter and plane landing and flying. Maybe not in great detail, but it gives you the general idea. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I had to crash it at some point, just like the plane, guys. That was fun. Anyway, I guess that works. Let's see. Oh, I spawned on an island. Nice. I guess it's good for the airboat I'm going to spawn in. Let's see if I can remember this. I don't know. Uh. 90... hold on, hold on. So, maybe 95? Nope, that's a stinking giant special helicopter. Yeah, same same controls as this one, guys. Uh, also, see here. Uh, there's also... That's the other military-grade helicopter. These are the other helicopters. I'll go ahead and spawn in the regular one, just because. There we go. All the three helicopters for you right there. Amazing. Might as well spawn the planes as well. That's... Have a good old setup here. Possibly thumbnail action. Anyway. I would be spawning... Right here. Let's see if I can remember the number. It wasn't 95, maybe 96? Yeah, there it is. Got it. Awesome. Okay. Here it is. The Otter. That's what it's legitimately called. Now I'm actually going to check out the names of these again. The green one like, that I first fly flew is the Forest Huey. The Desert Huey. Yep. And the uh, Sky Crane. That's cool. Bad business, that Sky Crane. Anyway. The Otter. It's awesome. You can fly it. You can drive it on water and land. Just, just propel a little bit. That's why I spawned it on land. Okay, you're in. Can't look left or right, but still. Oh, I'm tilting. You're trying to do a barrel roll on the tilted hill. Whee! Anyway. As normal, press W to propel forwards. Off the ground and into the water. Whew. Whoa. Up. Oh, not into the water. Into the air. Oh, yeah. So, this is so cool. 
I oh, forgot the I cannot use the mouse to turn, you use the uh, S and D, half of the WASD. And the same mechanics for turning and flying here, guys, as the Sandpiper. Really cool. Really impressive. Really loving this, guys. So you want to land it here. Whoop! Right. Gotta remember the controls here. Sometimes I forget a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I forget a lot. That doesn't make much sense. Okay. You land. You know, slow yourself down with S and you're on the water. Good tip, guys. Uh, great tip. When you're going in for the landing, do not do a straight stinking nose dive like this. No, 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 no. No. Bad idea. Bad idea. Whew. I don't know how I pulled that off anyway. But do not do a nose dive. You will most likely crash. Just saying. You want to sort of angle yourself here. So when you're going down, don't do news. I've slowly progressed yourself by moving upwards. Well, I'm tilting here. To where you're going, like, above the water. And or land, if you're uh, using the sandpiper. But don't do nosedive. Angle yourself. Pace yourself. Um, have fun with yourself. I'd add a third one. But I'm kind of losing myself. Eh, didn't mean to do that. Anyway, angled and land. Whew, that was a little rough. Whoa. I'm pretty sure you can land on the ground with this thing, too. Yeah. That's awesome. Whoa, hold up. Can I turn you? Can I turn? Yeah. Alright, anyway. Uh, I will crash this in a second, guys. Uh, I promise you, I gotta crash everything. I will crash it, but first... I've got to actually spawn another one of these things for my thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't be doing that. Ah! <laughs> I crashed it anyway! Whew! I always crash it without meaning to crash it. That's normally how it's supposed to work, right? Well, that works. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that one's over there, isn't it? Alright. Uh, gonna aim that way. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, press into and then do that. I'm going to do 91. It's really cute vehicle, guys. Here, really not wasn't planned to show you. It's a little uh, craftable vehicle. You can actually make this in regular survival with wooden stuff. Haven't done it yet. Planning to. Not yet, but still, it's a uh, it's really fast actually. I like to use it a lot for whenever I want to get to my plane, slight sight, and stuff like that. In this video, it's pretty much all the only times I used it, but it's actually very useful for getting around fast. Anyway, see if we can find the islands. Okay. Way <laughs> okay. Let's see here. I go past this road. Through the tree. <laughs> or beside the tree. Oh, okay. I'm alive. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Gotta add a morbid sentiment in here. Whoa, no! Okay, that's, that's amazing. So there is, I think, the island up at the plains. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, hi, what's up? Ah, <laughs> oh, I tried to. Oh no. I tried to go on the dock, didn't work. Bye bye, zombie. Sucker. Anyway, I forgot about zombies in this game, so. So stuck into the vehicles. Oh. Whoops. The island's over there. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Yeah, there's the vehicles. Alright, um, I will meet you guys over there once I have the thumbnail taken and everything. Uh, I will see you there. Alright, I'm back guys. Uh, sorry about that random split second of non-recording. I guess that was really split second considering I cut and everything. But here's the five flying vehicles I have shown you. Now, there's actually one thing I still want to show you guys. Uh, I'm not going to take one of these though, because I still like that little setup there. What I'm going to do is grab a one of these, and I'll show you. Uh, it's really cool what you can do. It's really fun to do, actually. So you gotta get high into the air with this. I suggest the copter. Oops, I was holding space instead of W. <laughs> Duh. I fly up into the air. My serious face there. Turtle shirt. Mm. What wizard pants? I don't really know what the pants are, but I can't see them. 
here. Oh, there they are. Magical, right? Anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna get a, a little away from this place. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. I can do it right here. I'm just gonna get a little higher. Let's see. How high can I get? What wrong button? Okay. Here we go, guys. I want to slow down the chopper thing so it doesn't kill me. Okay. And boom! Yeah, that's right. That's right. Umbrellas slow your fall. Awesome, right? <laughs> I'm coming, helicopter. You're not really. I don't like you. Yeah, you can still see the propellers. The, the, the umbrellas break your fall. It's so awesome! And yes, I'm sprinting in midair. Like a pro. <laughs> Whee! Make it to the land so I can prove. And... Nope, oh, I'll barely make it. Boom, no water there. See? No fall damage. Umbrellas are awesome. <laughs> Drift softly down from the heavens. Like I have done. From a helicopter. I get they both start with the same letter, same thing, correct? <laughs> but yeah, that is the helicopter. Uh, the ID for the umbrella, in case you want to know, is 1103. Type in the umbrella, let's just mess around. Type in at. Oh, nope, that's the wrong button. Do at. Uh, give your name. Whoops. Then slash 1103 and slash. Boom! Got yourself another black umbrella. I'm guessing 1104 is a different color. Either way, it's awesome. So that is how to fly flying vehicles in Unturned 3. No, Unturned 3 is not a separate Unturned game. It is the latest updated version. I mean, the technically latest updated version is like Unturned 3.1207. I don't really know the exact numbers. But you get the picture. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.